Hello guys and welcome back to the Startup Brain TV, the platform to inspire, empower and connect entrepreneurs worldwide. So in today's video, I will be bringing to you guys my three top challenges that I currently face as an entrepreneur and running my business. So I thought to myself, why not share with you guys what my own challenges are as well. And I believe a lot of entrepreneurs out there can definitely, definitely relate to some of these issues. Okay. So without any time wasting, let's get right into it. Now my first key challenge is time management problems. <sighs> and I'm talking especially for people who run their own online businesses like myself, people who work from home like myself, time management can be a big problem. Now here's the truth about being an entrepreneur. It's not like a nine to five job where, you know, Monday to Friday, you wake up at a certain time of the day, you head to work by 12 noon, you head out for lunch, by 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. you're back home you know you've got your weekends off you know when you come home it's time for you to rest go to bed wake up the next day feeling refreshed and the process continues however that process is completely different for entrepreneurs now here is the reality of being an entrepreneur and I'm just gonna give you a brief description of my day some days I wake up at 6 a.m. and I go to bed at around midnight 1 a.m. okay other days I wake up at 11 a.m. <laughs> and I go to bed at 9 p.m. It's really, really inconsistent for me. And time management is a problem because every single day is different as an entrepreneur. You never know when you're going to get a client. Sometimes I'm working at 4 a.m. in the morning because I have a lot of customers who are based in the United States. Now I'm based in the United Kingdom. So the time difference sometimes is a problem and you can't let those customers go. You got to find a way to balance that off. OK, so sometimes it means I have to be up till 3, 4 a.m. in the morning responding to queries from my customers who are based in the United States. You know, I can tell myself I'm going to wake up now. I'm going to go to the gym or I'm gonna go somewhere before you know it there's a phone call from a client and you're on the phone for about two hours now that's two hours of your day gone already so there's so much uncertainty when it comes to being an entrepreneur you can't just plan things properly like you would do if you were for example working you know a nine-to-five job you know it's nine to five after that time it's no working hours for you as an entrepreneur it's nine to seven sometimes eleven to four a.m. sometimes twelve midnight to six a.m is really, really inconsistent and it's really, really as your customers need you. Whenever my customers need me, I have to be there for them because if I ignore my customers, I lose money. This is how I feed. This is how I clothe myself. This is how I survive. So, you know, you don't know when you're going to get those emails, those urgent emails. You never know when you're going to make a sale and you need to process an order. You never know when a customer is going to call you or message you. And then you find yourself caught up speaking to clients here and there. And before you know it, your timetable is looking like a zigzag rather than a straight timeline as you initially planned. Okay. Sometimes I try to, you know, limit myself and restrict myself and tell myself, I'm going to take a holiday. I'm going to take some time off. But even when I go on holidays, I still work. Okay. There's no days off for me. I'm constantly, constantly hustling. And even the billionaires out there still hustle. So it's just a lifestyle. Treat us, treat it as a lifestyle rather than, you know, wanting to get rich quick and you would enjoy the process because I love what I do. I never get sick of it i never get tired of it i absolutely absolutely enjoy it so that on its own keeps me going now my second challenge as an entrepreneur is what i like to call the rich broke syndrome yes i made this up hopefully it becomes a trend hmm let's see <laughs> the rich broke syndrome spread it out hashtag rich broke syndrome <laughs> Hopefully there's no hashtags out there of rich broke syndromes already and then I just feel like a complete idiot. But anyway, I like to call this the rich broke syndrome. So as an entrepreneur, you could be rich today and completely broke tomorrow. It's not like working a job where at the end of the month, you know you're getting a fixed salary every single month, guaranteed. As an entrepreneur, some months you're rich, other months you're absolutely broke. Some months you get thousands of customers, the month after, maybe two, three customers. So that's one of the challenges that I personally face as an entrepreneur and most entrepreneurs out there face as well. Running a business on its own is very, very uncertain. There's a lot of environmental external factors that will always affect your business and things will never, ever, ever go as planned. Even with larger organizations, sometimes they have to make changes. You know, they need to fire people. They need to hire people. They need to change their strategy every single time because running a business is very, very uncertain. You never know what's going to happen. It could be the credit crunch. It could be inflation. 
it could be interest rates going up or you know there's so many other external factors that can affect your business strategy so with that in mind it's really really hard for me to budget so when you're working nine to five you have your list of expenses you know how much is coming into your account and you know how much you're actually going to spend that month so it's easier for you to plan ahead budget and save now as an entrepreneur this month I could make thousands of pounds and the next month I'm probably making hundreds of pounds that's the truth that's the reality so when you watch all those videos of you know business gurus <clears throat> showing you the mansions and the fancy cars and what 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 they go out there renting cars renting mansions telling people that there's this lifestyle out there of you know getting rich quick if you press a button you're gonna get rich quick they go out there deceiving a lot of people and i think that's the reason why a lot of people get lost in translation some of them are real i'm not badging any of them and they start a business because they want to be as wealthy of course being wealthy is part of the reasons of starting the business but that shouldn't be your motivation that shouldn't be the top reasons for you starting your business you should be starting the business because you you want to make a change when you reach out to people when you inspire people when you help people People, the money is going to come regardless so being an entrepreneur is gonna come with a lot of financial challenges and this is why I always stress that if you're gonna start a business make sure you have your backup cash my third key challenge as an entrepreneur is loneliness anybody there yeah all I hear is noises outside and birds screeching and the wind blowing sometimes or maybe the snow Maybe just watching the snow or just sitting here talking to myself or talking to my laptop talking to myself majority of the time i know a lot of entrepreneurs who work from you know remote offices where they get to mingle with other entrepreneurs and obviously speak to people and they don't feel like zombies like i do working from home i prefer working from home because i am just a lot more productive when i work by myself most times there's a lot of things that i have to do like record videos like i'm doing right now i'm not going to record a video if i was somewhere public it will be difficult there'll be a lot of noise a lot of distractions that will distract me from recording the video so to me and obviously the nature of my business i prefer working from home most of the times it's not like in an office environment where you can speak to your colleagues you can laugh with people you can chat and connect with people and you don't feel too bored and all by yourself um so yeah that's one issue that i really really struggle with so what i like to do is you know sometimes go for a walk get a train or jump on the bus or whatever just to take myself out there and actually see human beings in the world okay rather than just sitting at home and being by myself so it really really helps to you know free your mind because being alone can really really be de detrimental to your health as well my husband works full-time so I don't get to spend all day with him so most of the times it's just me myself and I working from home and struggling all by myself um, but I wouldn't trade it for the world and there's other ways to get around it so guys this was going to be a very quick video just sharing with you guys my three key challenges that I face as an entrepreneur so I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my videos when they do come out Thank you guys again for watching my video and don't forget to leave your comments down below if you are an entrepreneur or if you can relate to some of those issues that i've mentioned let me know share your experiences down below and also let me know what your challenges are as an entrepreneur so thank you guys once again for watching my video and i look forward to catching up with you guys in my next video bye for now